Well, that's right. As the temperatures warm up across the west, all eyes remain on the water levels at Lakes Powell and Mead. And experts say there is still plenty of snowpack to add to the Colorado River as well. That's right. Just take a look at these uh, charts. You can see both of the spikes at both of the lakes just in recent uh, weeks here at Lakes Powell and Mead. I talked to National Weather Service meteorologist about the snowpack that remains there in Colorado. Even on a windy Monday, people still want to visit Lake Mead. From the, like a far view, uh, it's very beautiful. I talked to Ethan Gao, who is a student in California. He says seeing how low the water is was a surprise. After like, I'm approaching here, you can see that uh, uh, it is very like a shock to see how low this level is. The water looks low to visitors, but the water is actually going up. Take a look at the charts. This is Lake Mead. It has slowly been on the rise since late April, sitting at 1,055 feet, 10 feet above what it was at this time last year. A recent report expected it to be at 1,060 feet at the end of July. Up the river at Lake Powell, the level there is rising drastically, sitting at 3,577 feet, up nearly 40 feet from this time a year ago. The water all coming from the snow in the Rockies. Snowpack still looks great. Um, the majority of Colorado is about 90th percentile uh, for snowpack, so well above normal. I talked to Russell Danielson, a meteorologist from the National Weather Service in Boulder, Colorado, about the snow that will eventually melt. We've continued to be quite wet, and even the past few days in June, we've had a few inches of snow up on the mountains, so that has helped the snowpack uh, a decent amount here. Danielson says typically by June 21st, the snow has melted, but with snow still in the mountains, that could mean even more water in the Colorado River. Now we've flipped to where we're 90 degrees or close to it in Denver, much drier, sunnier, so the rest of June will melt that snowpack pretty quickly. The warmer temperatures means melting snow and some evaporation. The coming months will be something to watch for both lakes. Maybe because of uh, this year's rainfall, uh, maybe increase a little bit. Meanwhile, visitors and locals alike wonder how much the continued moisture will help. Well, certainly is encouraging. And over the next two years, the Bureau of Reclamation will make big decisions on how much water to preserve in the Colorado River reservoirs like Lake Mead and Lake Powell and how much they should be releasing downstream to those who need it. The amount of water we actually have available in the system doesn't quite meet the needs and expectations of what they built the system to deliver. Even though we've had a wet year, obviously we've had a wet year, the, the trend is still towards drying and warming. And Ben Burr says the BOR needs to focus on rising lake levels for the sake of hydropower and recreation for all kinds of boats.